Euro dollars per month. For the hey Rogue, got the scratch. Got the cred for the helmet job. Fine. Anders Hellman, flip me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. Thanks, but I'll pass. Hell's wrong with you? Good stuff. Your loss. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in Chianti's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. He must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on the Savi. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan Team. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, 
and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. The dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. So a native? Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the low back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Now, oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Jeff, hang on just a little longer, Chuk. Ripper's on the way. Oh, I, I can't. Hello? This Pan Am? V here. V who? V where? How did you even get this number? From Rogue. Oh, great. Fuck. Where's that old warhorse wanna kick me now? This thing between you and Rogue, couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good, but I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch and your car, getting them back, I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street, the one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya.
together only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good price. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Hey. Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? <laughs> Agree to help me. You'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? One guy I gotta talk to. A corpo traveling by corp convoy. No, I don't do abductions. Besides, you'd need many more bodies and heaps of gear to take a convoy. It's just one AV. Plan Brood will take it over Jackson Plains. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. You got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Temperature check! It's 98.7! Body heat! V? Car's in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Car's there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. So... where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Good, let's roll. Get in. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch! Know what? Screw Rogue. Can't see why you even care. Cause I need the money. 
Don't let her push you around. She's not the only fixer in town. Yet you're only here because she sent you. But I'm not the one bitching about her. You don't know her. Not at all. Did she tell you she was the one to bring me and Nash together? Did she tell you it slipped her mind to mention Nash was Raff and Shiv? Might not have known that side of him. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. You look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm-hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Pan Am, time's short. Come on. I know. The Raffin screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance, but... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in.
Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? <sighs> the reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue Saul. Okay. We have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins. And we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Down Rocky Ridge can be any deader. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? So classic route. Good old diversion. You know it. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. Ugh. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am.
Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. And my thorn! You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. I'll take the wheel. Sure, sure. Leave the driving to the pros. isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V. It's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo. You got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The 
fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Six Street away from Just listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. And Nash Hunt wasn't part of our deal. Only because I thought he would show up in Rocky Ridge. But he didn't. Might not even be in their hideout. I know he's there, V. That fucking Raffin cheated me. I can't just let it go. I can't. Do you really not understand that? <sighs> All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. You get it. I know how you feel. I had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. That's skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him. Get it off! Around the asshole! 
Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to. Let's get out of here. What bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. Hey boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Helm. Agreed? Should be fun. here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Panna! How's next? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Uh huh. Everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple of minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink.
Raffin's wiped, Sixth Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seen worse. What can I get you? Rosef. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um... Uh, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... Calls for a... Little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm B. No, I will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few wings. Ugh, I'm starting to feel that stress go away. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. That's the plan. Good night. Mm-hmm. My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on. City kid.
Hey. Hello. I'm just checking the suspension. The hydraulics have to be ship shape. We're in for a bumpy ride. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here. The clamps are solution. A Satwave power station. Um, Satwave power station? Yes. We need to break into it. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. But then what? And then we strike. We hit the AV with an EMP. Of course we do. As soon as the AV is in range, we cause an electromagnetic pulse. The onboard electronics should fail outright. Meaning what? Engines will shut down? Everything will shut down. Engines included. Drive, navigation, communication systems. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or well, wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny, out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. It's not a virus, just a little malware. You get used to it eventually. Screw you. Will it affect the calibration? We shall see. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Uh-huh. Just wondering how to work with moving targets. The gun is calibrated. You'll have system support. 
Just be careful with the recoil. It sometimes knocks things out of balance. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Let me remind you. I want a helmet from me. Not to stick it to Arasaka. This is life or death. My life I mean, let me death. remind you that Sokka and their fucked up tech is what got you here. Who gives a shit about motives? Ends justify the means, and right now your end is to survive. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Huh. Antennas run all the way down the interstate. Mm-hmm. And they're linked, which is to your advantage. We just need to mess with the collection unit. A chain reaction will follow. Each one of the antennas will emit an EMP burst. The AV will be like a fly headed for a spider's web. We just have to fire off the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. Once we reach the station, I'll set up a bypass for the detonator. You just overload the systems. Overload the system? Yes, ma'am. When do I start? Though, hoping that's not too complicated. Is it? It shouldn't be. You just turn everything up as far as it'll go. Crank it up to 11. Got it. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things. That's the trick. Mine is the AAA. Wait, what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. AAA. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. What if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost had me believe in just that. You're too much sometimes, V. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. Drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready.
lit up and blinking like a Christmas tree. Girl, you tree. wanted 11. You got 11. Fuck yeah. Let's get out of here before it lights us up too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chest. Answer the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out. Work on I my mean, base tag. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny. Fucking hell. Okay. I'm fine. It's. It's okay, just. It's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just. Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. I always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasting shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there. Coming from Pacifica. All right. Get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's happening? God damn it all. Great. Just great. Bullseye! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? Altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. We got it. No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. We either land or crash. You catch that? Over. AV on mark. Losing out. Fetch. There. Scorpion. What the hell is that? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am. Don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. Okay. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! They probably want to help the survivors, without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering! Shit! I have three on radar! Drones? Yes, get ready. They're trying to slow us down! We won't let them! We have to reach Mrs. Corp!
fine. Okay. For the time being, at least. The time being's all we need. To them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Fuck. <clears throat> v, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Alticaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Mitch! Can we take it down somehow? Alive. They have them! Maybe. But we have to get there first. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? Probably keeping Hellman in the, the AV. Balls. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. You're already blown to bits. Don't be an idiot. This is just a scratch. Let's take out the launcher. I will try to- No, you stay in the car. Sorry, but you're just gonna slow me down. Fucking hell, V. Those are my people out Listen, there. I get that launcher out of the way, I'll let you know. Then you go in and help me with the rest. Deal? Yes, sir. I still have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move.
Clear. I'm coming for you. some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No! No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything, see anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. 
If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. Pan Am, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. <laughs> oh, so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys are here. Let's follow. Find them. Anyone else catch that? The rest must have taken Hellman with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the Alder Keldos. All that damn interference. 
They're coming for him, don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one hut. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding help. Okay, covering you. Again. Drones. Patrols. Definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. But see, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. Nomad. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? Yorinobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya.
Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder Kelvins. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies, I told him what happened, and he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you, to Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family, and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? I think that's it. Until next time. They're coming. You got a minute. Let's move! Until next time. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours now. What is this place? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arisaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand? Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And of you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, 
you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. And no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomb. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never me hold time. himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You're just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Cause I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble.
is all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Well, uh, this is a check mark. My Next throat is positively parched. Now we gotta. Mm. V did not uh, give you a what the pass of warning. I'll accept the fuck! Sit down, goddammit! It's the damned ship. My silver handosis is clearly incubating. That appointed finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat running while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Uh, might be right. We're bickering like a couple of geezers on a park bench. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. Every cell of my being dislikes you. How can I trust you? Do I gotta remind you how this came about? Let's not get wound up. You're not yourself. Don't know what's happening to me. The old V's gonna be a faded memory soon. Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah, maybe. What was it like when you died? What's on top of the world? Failure, not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? <laughs> Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time, didn't mark it, did what they wanted to me. I just remember, cold, black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak round the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? Because you're trapped there forever. It's eternal. No, nothing's eternal. And for the Psyches and Mikoshi, no such thing as the passage of time. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Yeah? What are you What's carrying? The big world? Firearms. Best in all the Badlands.
Broadcasting to you live from the collective unconscious, it's 88.9 Pacific Dreams.
activated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crashed landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Kang Tao's surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without suffering additional losses. The company has already announced a forceful response against the nomads' camps. After the break, President Myers has released a statement on the flow of refugees from the Netherlands. this time trash processing plant deserted end cart station in the south of japan town there is a street market it is on the footbridge above the main street use the elevators it is easy to get lost i am on my way there do not make me wait in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crash landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Kang Tao survived. I do not understand. Does our work? But... Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. A large sum, yes, I won't deny that. But just what percent? I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What percent of their profits? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. 
If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. And how you aim to manage that? While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Right? Then what? I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At the work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. There's no time to waste, V. Fucking worked. And? Done. System's ours. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that, It. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Bridge we might cross, but only might, we'll see. Glad we're on the same page. You never know what a dog's thinking. Might be the same thing. 
What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! To double the amount know. of our active the flesh. city security forces. President Myers has called. He eliminated the, the last the obstacle of between of himself the and the complete power. The NUSA they surrendered it to him. Tell me that, nomad. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a. Arasaka. An empire built to last before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one war. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today.
I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I'm simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. This is not bad. I think I've seen everything. You wish to come for this reconnaissance, do your job. I expected you to be more useful than this. All right, quit moaning. I'll give it another glance. Pipes, see him? We could use them to get inside. I think I've seen everything. Do you see the three antennas? Perfect for sabotage. Once they lose communications. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kanpeki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> be. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. Chill. Just a cat. Perhaps. Perhaps not. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba Eleven. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood.
What was it like growing up in Chiba 11? I remember the chemical stench of the canal where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability? Save Chief 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart. Got no idea what I feel. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad.
nine specific dreams. Didn't go exactly as planned. I will, the floor. I will try to distract them. From you run to the floor. That tech, it could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I will make the system sink. a matter of time.
Mozart to do with as we please. Fly to Tokyo if you want. Ah, I just may do that. Good work. Oh, now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me, Taku. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. B, you must hurry. I'm out of Takahiro approaching. What now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Yeah, sure, just walk right through me.
somewhere.
you might wonder. Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot. And our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. for a friend, Booker Updike. Wait a sec. That, uh, he a tall white guy? Kinda keeps to himself, yeah? Could be. Haven't seen each other in a while. What makes you say that? Well, he's been locked up in his room. Don't ever come out. Not even for coffee in the AM. But hey, customer is king, right? He wants peace and quiet. We give it to him. No question. Open up his room for me. Yo, I just said privacy's kinda our thing here. You'll come out if he wants to come out, okay? Yeah, see, think you misheard me. Wasn't a question, wasn't a request. Uh, but, but... Hey, look at me, right in the eyes. Choose your next words carefully, Chumba. Might be the last choice you ever make. Oh. Okay, okay, uh, come with me, but, but please keep it down. I was never here, got it? Ugh, not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Uh huh. Suffocated, it looks like. Probably in his sleep. 
A peaceful death in this town? Guy won the jackpot. Gonna puke? Smell that, right? The ventilation. Hmm. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Ah, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? <laughs> like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Time to look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper's supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent. It's secure? Padrissimo. And I'm putting you down for 10 bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. It's clean work, V. Contracts closed. Gratitude's on the way. Broadcasting to you live from the collective unconscious. It's 88.9 Pacific Dreams.